Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the TKS. The TKS were Polish tankettes developed during the 1930s and used in the Second World War. The TKS tankette was a Polish design produced from 1931 based on the chassis of the British Carden Lloyd tankette with an improved hull and more powerful engine, and armor up to 8mm or .31 inches thick. In 1939, uparming of the tankettes with the NKM WZ38 FK 20mm machine guns began, but only 24 of these were completed before the outbreak of World War II. On November 6, 1934, Estonia purchased six vehicles from Poland with the contract deal worth over uh, 180,000 uh, corones. The deal also included one additional tract, lorry, and a motorcycle was given free as a bonus. After the Soviet Union occupied Estonia, these vehicles were put into service with the Red Army. So yeah, pretty interesting vehicle here, uh, the tankette. Uh, we did do a tutorial for this quite a while ago, um, but this is kind of a nice redesign, uh, revamp of um, that vehicle. So yeah, TKS, pretty simple, straightforward little build, and right here we just have the standard model. So this here is basically just the standard vehicle. Um, with the 7.92mm uh, machine gun, the basically the initial kind of design of the TKS. So pretty cool uh, vehicle here, you got the front gun right here and then there you obviously have the little driver's position right there. So you would actually have two people that would fit in here, you'd have a driver and obviously gunner um, slash commander. And then uh, just all the detail around it, <laughs> really that's all there really is to say about this vehicle. Very simple, uh, little build and kind of a derpy little one you could put into any of your um, Polish scenarios. and. All that fun stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and move into uh, our tutorial. So to go ahead and get started here for the TKS, what we want to do to begin with is we're going to place down an air brick upside down stair, just like this. After that, we then want to go ahead and go over from the air brick stair with two dark oak with top slabs and then a air brick upside down stair over here on this side. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our air brick blocks and we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three blocks in the ground and one two and three blocks. We're going to go then place down a grindstone coming off the back here of this narrow brick stair and we're going to then place down a dark oak with top slab. Same thing over here, come off this grindstone. We then want to go ahead and grab our item frames. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of this narrow brick stair here and that's on, in that item frame we're going to place down a green stained glass pane and over here we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and also place down an item frame on the side of this um, grindstone and in that item frame we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block. Same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this to both sides. At this point here, we want to go and then grab a dark liquid sign. And if you are on a uh, Java edition, we can go ahead and place a dark liquid sign on the side here of this um, grindstone. If you're on uh, Bedrock, you will not be able to do this feature. If that's the case, just go ahead and place it on the item frame. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also place a dark liquid sign on the side of this slab. So same thing over here on this side as well. When we get to this point here, we're going to go and then skip a space back. We're going to place down a green shulker box like this on both sides. And then come off the green shulker box, just like the front, we're going to go and place down our item frame. Our green stained glass pane in the item frame. Same thing over here. And we then want to go and place down a grindstone that's going to be coming off this green uh, shulker box, like that. And we're going to go and place down an item frame on the side here and a green terracotta block in the item frame. And again, if you're on Java, a dark liquid sign on the side of that grindstone. Same thing over here as well. After that's done for the center here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, one, two, one, two. So basically three more rows of two of dark oak top slabs. And then on the back here, we want to go ahead and place down an air brick top slab to the left side, followed by a spruce wood top slab there to the right of it. We're also going to go ahead and grab our wither skeleton skulls. We're going to place down wither skeleton skulls coming off those two shulker boxes. And one change we're going to make also is that this item frame here, we're actually going to go ahead and replace the block instead of a glass pane with a cobweb like so. Continuing on, uh, moving on to the front here, we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor on top of these two stairs, followed by a green carpet over here, which will be on the left side of the vehicle. We then want to place down a zombie head, which is going to be at a slight angle here on top of this grindstone stair. So we're just going to go ahead and shift crouch at about a 45 degree angle. We're going to place that uh, skull. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak slab over, a green terracotta block, and then on the far right here, a mossy cobblestone wall. Coming off that green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate. And then coming off the fence gate, uh, we can go ahead and place down a chain. So we'll go ahead and grab a chain, and we'll place a chain that's going to be coming off of it. Like so. After that, uh, go ahead and continue on. We're going to then place down a green terracotta block back from this one. 
and we then want to go ahead and place down a stripped spruce wood block right here and then to uh, the left side here we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall and then the second one back and over here on the right side we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks back at this point here we're just going to go ahead and place down one and two over fill in the space in between those blocks there a dark oak wood trapdoor to both sides here a rail on top of that slab and then a stone button on top of this um, spruce wood slab just like that and after that's all complete there that's going to do it for that and continuing on up we're going to place down a zombie head on top of this green terracotta block here two dark oak wood slabs across the top there two dark oak wood trap doors along the right side and then we're going to place down two daylight detectors across the back here and make sure that trap door does stay closed we're going to then take our wither skeleton skulls and we're going to place down one and two one come off the trap door one coming off that slab Lastly, over here on top of this monster cobblestone wall, we're going to place down another item frame. Or another trap door with an item frame coming off of it. In that item frame, we're going to place down a snowball. And then going back from this, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap or fence gate on top of this musty cobblestone wall. And we're going to go ahead and have it opened up toward the rear there. And once you have that all done there, that's going to pretty much do it with my design here for the TKS uh, tankette. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thanked for the build between my channel or this video. If this does appear any social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your and I'll see you guys next time.